Hey guys, I'm gonna do a tutorial to show you guys how to do the um, Aiden Buyutkas, um, the flatland kind of photos where you have at the bottom something quite horizontal looking out from the ground level, and then at the top it's you know quite up high. So let's go through that. I've taken some photos at a park. Got my Photoshop open. I'll run through the photos. So I start at the bottom. I'll show you a diagram later too, so you can see what the curve and what photos you should be taking. So here's a diagram of my Mavic Pro drone flight. You basically start at the um, number one and you take a nice shot at the low level towards your um, horizon, towards your object. And you're gonna fly the drone up and forward and taking shots. You don't have to take necessarily 11, you can take 20, you can take 30, because later on it'll give you just way more to select from, or you can use a lot more in between. I chose to do about nine, I think, in this video, but this diagram shows, say, 11. So here's your flight path. And then I've just shown what the um, camera direction would be looking at. So it, in the end, it kind of encompasses this kind of mathematical formula, and then it translates much more beautifully. So let's get on with the video. So I was using my Mavic Pro. Started my photos, so photo one. And you fly your photo, you fly your drone, sorry. And you um, start to turn down the camera. So I'll just run through them. Yeah, do them at the highest resolution you can. These are posts. Basically, I've taken them through Lightroom to make them a little bit more saturated and, and nice. So you just keep flying your drone, pointing down, and eventually you'll get to, let's say, a target that you want. And this is the, um, the topographical, the shot from the drone looking straight down. So there you go. And that was 27 shots. And we can start at the very beginning. First shot. But I have a feeling this might be a little bit too challenging because of those trees, so I think it's a better idea if you don't have anything in the foreground. I think you could potentially start with something like this. So we're going to open up Photoshop. Make a nice large file, 5000 by 16000, 300 dpi. And we're going to use the first image, second image. We're going to have to align them. So we've got some. And in this case, we're going to be aligning the um, pathway and as best you can the trees. Because those things are going to be the ones that are going to be blending. And you can do the blending by long stripes. But I chose to. This is my first time doing it. So I chose to. Kind of blend around. It's much easier with grass because one piece of grass can look like the, the rest. But um, I think the next test is something more, more, you know, urban or some something by the sea. Specific rocks, specific beach formations. So what we're doing here is just lining things up, scaling it up, down, and we're just going up, up and up, trying to line things up using uh, transparencies. So we're always going back and forth, back and forth. I found myself doing that. Going back and forth, back and forth, lining things up, and then deleting the bottom part because as you can see, the little bit is overlapping at the top. The photo is about 20% of each photo is going a little bit higher. So then you come in there. And what I did, I mean, blending is quite an art, but 
I've chosen just to use the top image and just erase parts of the top image that can be blended into the bottom. And you just keep going up. You can rotate your image so, so that things make sense. And it might take a few tries to get this. I'm not saying my image is insanely beautiful, but um, it's fun to make. So we're blending and blending. There'll be some Photoshop afterwards. Unfortunately, the lines on the um, football field and um, What's it called? Oval field. Cricket field are not very they're not very good for this photo. Or at least this um, this exercise because of the blending. I think the next urban the urban shots you're going to be blending with uh, horizontal lines. So you just keep bringing the next images image in. And try to rotate it, position it, scale it, and make a decision where you're going to start blending it. And be careful of the pieces that touch, like the road, because that would have to be nice, nicely straight on. And then finally, I believe this is the last one. The um, nope, this is one before. So you can see we're still blending. Rotating, and then we have our last image, which is the one directly from the top. I'm just going to put align some images to see where we're going to be blending. And there's quite a bit of adjustment here. You can do a nice, um, <clears throat> nice sharp edge blending, which I chose to do in some places, just because it was looking a bit fuzzy. And in the end, you're going to just try to make sure the lines are nice and curvy. And this is where I started to, um, you know, get rid of the. Uh, Get rid, of the, get rid of the strange things and, and some cropping and then some cleanup time from the lines. Just cleaning it up. It's a bit dodge. And we've got a little plaster. Plaster cleanup. This is a great tool. And then use the um, grass right adjacent to the right and left of it to, um, to clean things up. Because the grass will have a strain that is a specific angle and you want to keep that um, <coughs> in line. And then we're cleaning up the pathway. It looked a bit dodgy to me before. Grass here, grass there, a little bit of moving, a little bit of clearing up. There we go. I think that looks okay. Just some final touches to the trees. Could have done this way before. And you save it as a JPEG. And Bob is your uncle.